for today's video we are going to be doing a get ready with me because i've been trying to figure out some nice flawless no foundation looks i've been trying to get into um, i've been trying to find a routine for me that works for me i tried out some other routines and girl i was looking casket ready like i'm not trying to do that okay i'm not trying to look like i'm dying okay it was just not cute so but i love the way this turned out today i just i'm in love I look dewy i look healthy so yeah if you want to see how i accomplished this little makeup look keep on watching and if you're new hey girl my name is kyra and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's just hop right into the video welcome back to my channel Ew. <laughs> hey girl welcome back to my channel for today's video we are going to be doing a get ready with me <laughs> and that's period but obviously you can tell i'm obviously doing this with my real hair because y'all love my real hair every time i upload it y'all like yes give us the tea like see i have my real hair out and you know i'm looking real natural i've been loving to wear my natural hair because wigs can be like I love to be bare um, and I blame quarantine so shout out to quarantine for blessing me like um, quarantine has made my eyebrows go back and just me taking care of my hair and me exfoliating my skin everything has just been thriving and y'all just want to know the tea so I'm about to let y'all know the tea now I need to get on it so this video is sponsored by function of beauty because i've been using function of beauty products for two months but yes i customize my own shampoo and conditioner through function of beauty so shout out to them for sponsoring this video i've been using function of beauty products for two months now and i've just been watching um 90 day fiance and i love vera she always be talking with her hands so anyway but anyway i've been using functional beauty products for two months now and i absolutely love it because it's been giving my hair that natural shine i don't put oil in my hair i just literally use shampoo and conditioner and i oil my scalp when it's curly but when it's like flat iron or anything i don't put any extra products in my hair so it's been giving that my hair that glow that it needs so easy and you can do it too so basically you go on the website and you take a quiz you get to choose your hair goals and your hair type obviously my hair is like trying to make its way back to curly so i just chose wavy and i really don't know my actual hair type but it's really wavy in between like wavy and curly so I chose wavy and then also you get to choose your hair goals and goals and I chose deep condition, strengthen, hydrate, oil control because my scalp can get real oily girl, thermal protection. And also on the bottle it says function of I'm unique and I think that is so cute. Y'all know I love embroidered things with my name on it. I just love like, I just love embroidered things like in general. So when I seen that I was like... <laughs> tea and then also you get to choose the color i thought that was so cute because you know if you have like a cute little bathroom that you want your shampoo and conditioner to match here you go so i think that was so cute you know aesthetic vibes and i love a good aesthetic and also you get to choose different scents including a fragrance free but i chose eucalyptus and mint if you're not new here y'all know eucalyptus is my scent it just smells so fresh and like the spa i just love eucalyptus so when i sing eucalyptus and mint bet that's what i want i want that right there that's all me and literally this condition this shampoo and conditioner is all me customized by me i think this is whole idea is just so neat and i just I just love it so make sure you take advantage and another thing functional beauty offers are hair care products so they have a hair mask a hair serum and a leave-in treatment and I personally chose the hair mask just because y'all know I love um, using a hair mask on my like maintenance days and self-care days I really think that hair mask is really just giving my hair that natural shine that it needs because every time I take it off my hair is just so shiny and it's so bouncy like girl i'm telling you like i'm not even just gassing this like i said i've been using this product for two months and i use the hair mask every two weeks 
so that's the thing. and then so yeah those items can be added to your order so you can go ahead and get your first order for 20% off all you need to do is check my description box below and click on my link so you can get 20% so you can get 20% and you can start customizing your own order because you need your hair to thrive and I honestly didn't think this was gonna work on like my texture hair because you know I have textured hair so fill out the quiz and um yeah because i want all you i want all y'all to thrive okay i want y'all skin to thrive i want y'all hair to thrive i just want you to be the overall best bitch okay naturally so click the link down below so you can get 20 percent off your first order and i'm gonna be doing a second order for myself and i can't wait i'm gonna choose pink this time and vanilla and i think it's shea butter i think i'm gonna do that the next time i order so after i run out of this but it's gonna be the whole same formula just a different color instead so yeah girl make sure you check the description box below and thank you so much function of beauty for sponsoring this video you know we finna get into a beat today or something i don't know girl i'm just trying to figure out what works for me as far as me trying to figure out like a natural glowy type of summertime look because baby i tried this tension moisturizer by nars casket ready baby talk about casket ready baby like are you fucking kidding me i just could not i was like oh hell no because i just heard like people was telling me i should use a tinted moisturizer just because y'all know my skin has been thriving and i hope y'all are enjoying the skincare routine video and yeah girl like i'm just trying to figure out like something that is cute like i want i love my beat face but i don't want it to be too much you know let's see what we come up with today because i'm trying out a new product i mean i did try the nars out on camera no that footage garbage i'm gonna be using something new so hopefully it turns out cute because i have things to do today okay i cannot be playing so lord let's just take a moment to please pray lord please let us please let me have a beat face today without any foundation please lord let me just live my best life today lord please lord please thank you y'all this is a wig i just put this wig on yesterday y'all know i've been putting on my own wigs this is cute like this is a vibe i was going for that like you know kim kardashian bump like you know how kylie jenner but i don't know if i can bump it all the way i don't think i'll look right first things first i'm gonna start off with this rose galore because i really want my face to be like dewy and glowy i'm really a matte girl but my skin has definitely transitioned into more on the drier side just because the products that i use so I just like to keep my face really moisturized and dewy. This Rose Galore oil is by Moon Cosmetics. Black owned baby like you know. I always support black owned businesses. and But sweetie like this literally took two months to come. Like two months really? Two months? Because I guess she's the only one packaging her orders. But sis you need to get it together you need a team you making millions of dollars and you don't have a team you're doing it all by yourself i know you want to save your coin by doing it yourself when you're running a million dollar company you need a team because two months for this little ass bottle no nah. mm. so i'm gonna go in with the elf poreless putty primer i like this primer i actually like this better than natasha it's supposed to be like the same type of effect going on like that blurred out filter effect but I honestly like this one better. To be honest, TBD, TBH, ABK, my BFF Joe looking at this. Ooh, I hope this works, this product gets. And I just ordered, um, so with me ordering the Tension Moisturizer, I had ordered from Ulta Curbside because our Sephora isn't open yet because we can't go in the store. And, um, so I just took the risk on ordering the NARS Tinted Moisturizer from Ulta Curbside Pickup. Girl. So I made another risk. But I need to take that back to the store. That shit's getting returned. I don't care. So yeah, I return makeup. I don't care. So take that shit back. I took another sacrifice because I've seen a lot of girls using this product. 
so hopefully it works for me and the color is good shit i'm gonna go in with this color pop pretty fresh hyaluronic tinted moisturizer so and hyaluronic acid is good for moisture moisture i think i don't know i forgot i think so so um, i don't know if y'all know ming lee the owner of snob life she just came out with this fuckboy free repellent <laughs> and she sent it to me y'all know i don't fuck with fuckboys so we gonna see what this do today um what does it contain what are the ingredients at before i be spraying shit on my face um water aloe fruit extract vitamin e sage rose water rose water okay so basically i'm assuming this is like a rose water type of thing or makeup blending foundation for a dewy look so we gonna see you know black on we gonna see what it do i remember when i posted this on my instagram somebody was like girl i hope you do not spray that shit on your face it smells like rose water, like Mario Badescu. So, hopefully this is a true tinted moisturizer match. This is, what color is this? Medium dark 13W, so hopefully. Okay, it's definitely matching my skin tone, for sure. But my forehead is darker than the rest of my face, and that's with everybody. So, this is gonna be the ultimate test because when I put the NARS on, my shit was looking gray as hell. Okay, well, it's not giving me that ashy effect. So, that's what I like. I was looking ashy as hell. So, I just really want to look really fresh and dewy. And I want my skin to look healthy when I do these types of things. And it's definitely looking very, very dewy. And I like that. It's not giving me that ashy effect, so. But yeah, we gonna see. We gonna let it sit. Um, you gotta wait to see what it's really gonna look like because it should be changing. Okay, period. Period. So I'm gonna spray the Pixie Glow Mist just to give it some umph before I put on my concealer. So yeah. But my concealer, um, okay, so I ordered this hourglass from Sephora. A new one is supposed to come today in the mail. Um, it's a dark one, but this one is a little light, but I'm only put a little bit like within like dots just to see, like in that dark area. Then I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Forever Ultra HD one in 41. This one is like my skin tone, kinda, kinda. That's why I mix it with this. And then also, y'all, this morning, y'all, I had a snap on this company. Like I had a, well, I didn't snap, but I clapped back. Okay. Shout out to all the girls that's coming out using their platforms to, you know, um, really acknowledge the fact about Black Lives Matter. Black creators are coming out with pay gap difference of influencers versus Caucasian versus Black. And obviously, everything is being exposed anonymously. But I mean, like, some people are coming out and saying, like, what they experience with certain companies. Like, for instance, this one girl, she came out, um, that Anastasia Beverly Hills was basically playing her on her coin. And that shit is just so fucking wrong like you know you got that coin why is you not paying my shit so basically they tried to charge her for for four posts for one of her like rate charges if that makes sense so she charged like nine something but they wanted to pay her like for four posts they wanted to pay her that one price like fuck no y'all got her banned like that is just wrong and disgusting and so irritating that they love to low blow the black creators but they like to capitalize off of our culture that shit is just beyond me beyond me so anyway so this company reached out to me and said they wanted to work with me and i was like oh, okay cool like i wanted to work with them too i wanted to work with them they were one of the companies i wanted to work with and i know they got coin for facts so oh so they reached out to me i sent them my media rate and they were like oh 
right now we don't have a budget but um we were looking for a gift exchange so i was just being you know like i wanted to build a relationship i don't take gifting exchanges unless i want to build a relationship with that company so i was like okay cool so they wanted me to make a youtube video so i accepted i picked out my stuff so this morning i mean they kept reaching out and ask them where is the video and mind you everybody's paying attention to which brands are acknowledging you know the black lives matter movement outside of what they're posting on instagram social media whatever are they really acknowledging it woo 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 so and it's so crazy that these companies want to be like oh we see you we hear you but we we've been around sweetie like what are you talking about like y'all acting like black people just came out like what the fuck so anyway, so they reached out to me this morning like, hey, where's our video? And I was like, you know what? Like, basically in professional terms, I'm not working with you because y'all know y'all got a budget. Y'all like to love blow black creators. And also, you did not acknowledge anything about Lives Matter movement. Y'all aren't donating. Y'all aren't telling people to go sign petitions. Like, no. Like, hell no. Like, put your fucking foot down. Like, I put my foot down and I was like, hell no, I'm not doing it. And I had sent, like, my response to my friend Yanni. She's really good at, like, you know, pricing and stuff like that. Because I know a lot of people have questions like, hey, how, how do you know, like, what to charge and stuff like that? Because I remember when I was first doing this in the beginning, I did not know what to charge. Like, this is back when I hit 100K and we were talking and she asked me how much did i charge people and she's like what the fuck no like you need to be charging more and i was like oh snap like help me out sis like and i'm so grateful for her she's really good at like managing to tell companies like what to charge and stuff like that and i was like sis like she made my whole media rate and everything like i'm so grateful for her because my account wouldn't be looking like how it is so yeah and i'm wanting her to make me another one once i make 200k um and i'm gonna pay her so make sure y'all hit her up because she's really good at that i know a lot of people are just starting off and then like these brands are reaching out to them and you don't know what to tell them what to charge reach out to her she'll help you out um obviously it's not gonna be free because you know you don't want to ask somebody to do something for you for free that they took this is like years of knowledge of knowing what to say to these companies and first starting out you want to invest in your business invest in like that knowledge so i had no issue with you know paying her as i mean for my next media kit because girl because i don't have a manager i don't know what to charge so yeah but girl it's so many of these companies that like to low blow and low blow black creators i need to blend on my foundation yeah it's just the fucking worst like another big huge clothing company that's well known i know they got billions of fucking dollars um they reached out and was like hey can you do you do like two youtube videos and like five posts and i was like oh sure let me send you my media kit and they're like, oh, we were thinking more like boo boo price. Like, fuck no. Like, no. I know y'all got coin. Y'all paying all these Instagram bitches to post every fucking month. I know y'all like they daily fucking income. So, because that's like literally the only brand they be posting. So, I'm like, hell no. No. Because that's just a lot of time that you got to put into like making good quality content. Like, no. The shit is crazy out here. But I'm so happy, like, people are using their platform and their voices to acknowledge the shit. Because the shit has to stop. The whole, everything, police brutality, all this shit needs to stop. Like, I know the Brianna um, law just passed like that, but they haven't even fucking, you know, um, arrested the officers. And also the officers that killed george floyd were arrested i mean there's changes happening but it's not enough so keep marching keep signing petitions keep donating keep helping the black community because we is still out here trying to 
fight for change and there was also a fucking murder that just happened in atlanta this fucking man was on at wendy's trying to get a fucking burger they killed him they didn't he didn't even have no gun on him or nothing why did y'all have to kill him y'all could have tackled him or something y'all didn't have to shoot him like what the fuck and make sure y'all are supporting black businesses hello 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 i always supported black owned company especially clothes like we be we be fucking snapping in the clothing area like it's some really really talented black designers out there so so i'm gonna take this beauty blender by morphe and just set my concealer right away but yeah y'all i had to literally let them know like sorry i'm not doing it if there's no budget accommodated for me i'm not doing it period <laughs> take your clothes i'll send these back it ain't shit so i've been using the cream fancy beauty um the cream bronzers i didn't like this at first but it's growing on me it's easy to blend out so it's blendable so and this is the color honey glaze so i just um wait let me, let me spray my fuck boy repellent and um <laughs> I just apply it with a beauty blender. It doesn't really apply good with a brush. So then for my nose contour, I do the same thing. I've been liking to use this for my nose contour. So I'm going to use this brush right here. This is the Morphe M507 brush. This brush has changed my nose contour life okay it's just so small and so precise <laughs> i can't even you know why did i just do that this is cream okay y'all and i know we gotta wear a mask right now but it's so hard for me to wear a mask like i don't have a bridge on my nose so i love a good nose contour but in real life situations and stuff like that my nose can i cannot my mask won't hold up for shit basically my shit be drooping all the way down here uh like and then i don't want to touch the outside of the mask because that's where all the fucking bacteria is so it's like ugh, so annoying i need to customize a mask or something okay so now i'm just gonna do my eyes my aim and i use this palette like fucking crazy this is the ColourPop nude mood palette it has all the colors that i like on it so i'm just gonna go for like a basic one eyeshadow um eyeshadow today because i don't want to do too much i'm really just trying to be you know regular i'm always regular though that's nothing though and y'all been sending me some fire that fire that some fire lashes so thank you so much because i'm about to put some fire lashes on y'all always ask me where my lashes are from and what well, this package right here that i'm about to put on they literally didn't have no name on it it was just the regular it said 3d mink on it like the um vendor packaging so i'm like damn sis i can't even give you a shout out so I'm gonna go in with this. Ew, I don't even be saying shit like that. So I'm gonna use the Epic Wear um, NYX liner in what color is this? It's a brown, but I do not like this. This formula sucks. It's so sticky and clumpy and just ugh. But I don't have no other foundation. I mean, brown liner. So and I just want like a cute, like natural wing. So that's what I'm gonna do. Ew. I think this just fucked me up. Ew. See, this shit's ugly. I'm finna get so fucking mad. So I just went ahead and threw on my lashes. And these were sent to me. They so cute. Oh my god. So yeah, so I like how my skin is looking and how it's settling. So okay girl okay bronzer and brush blush is all i need bronzer and blush are like my favorite things and then to bring everything all together i'm gonna use the Too faced born this way warm sand 
all over my face blend it all out and i like how i still look beat but i, I still look cute without any foundation okay bitch okay <laughs> So next, I really like this because I don't use any highlight and y'all know blush is my shit. So this Milani Rose Baked Blush Powder, it has like a little bit of shimmer in it and it gives me a high, like a natural highlight. Like not too much because like if you use the highlighter by itself, it's like a little blinding. But this gives me like that like natural little highlight that I need that I'm looking for. I'm gonna spray a little bit of this before I put any more on. Y'all, I'll be going blush to overboard, okay? <laughs> See how it gave me like a good little glow? And I'm also, I want my cheeks to be a little bit more rosier. So I'm going to go in with my favorite blush combo and it's the Morphe Brush Blush Trio in the Pop of Coral. It's this one right here. It's so cute. Like, it's my favorite. Ooh, okay. No foundation. <laughs> Next, I'm just going to go in with this NARS Lip Liner in Precision. This is a little dark, but I just like how it looks after I blend it out with my finger. cute 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 because cute. at first i was scared i was like bitch what the fuck but you're just gonna blend it with your finger because i don't want that like you know they used to do this dark ass lip in the back in the day and baby that's not what i'm going for okay i'm going for baby doll lips the struggle is real then I'm gonna mix this Morphe first base. And then for gloss, I'm gonna use the Ion Cosmetics. Uh, I don't know what color this is, but she needs to restock, okay? This is my favorite lip gloss, I swear to God. So I'm just gonna take this Glow It by the uh, by European Wax Center. I love this shit. It's a body oil, and you know I'm trying to be glowing this summer. Okay, so I just really want to put it on my my shoulders just to give it that uh, you know, with this shirt I got on, this bodysuit. And I'm just gonna spray. This is one of my favorite scents. This is the Louis Vuitton. This is the Louis Vuitton Atrape Revise or something like that girl i don't know this is some italian shit and it smells so good like and i love louis vuitton perfumes just because you get to refill them at a like half price i think it is so yeah you can re go refill this and i also have my initials on there which is a little cute little touch so yeah oh i smell so fucking delicious like bitch what okay <laughs> So anyways, y'all, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to check the description box below so you can get 20% off the function of beauty. Because y'all need to have some fire hair. Because, you know, we got to have our fire hair under our wigs, okay? And that's just period. And I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.